Hello, I'm Vadim. I'm an IT specialist here at Nagios. Today, I'll be showing you how to set up Nagios XI using VMware so you could get up and monitoring in minutes. This should be a quick video, so let's get started. To begin, you should have VMware Workstation already installed. We will start by going to nagios.com and going down to Nagios XI. Then we click on View Solution. Down below, we have a list of product features that XI can offer. To get started, click Download Now. Then we fill out our information. Then when we filled out our information, we click Submit. We see a list of options such as Microsoft, VMware, and Linux. We click on VMware, and here we have the option to select Workstation Pro or Player, or we can choose ESXi or vSphere. For today's example, we're going to click on Workstation Pro Player and click Download Now. We will let this download. Now we want to open up VM Workstation. What we want to do is go into File, then click Open, and in here we'll find the Nagios XI that we just downloaded. We'll click on that and click Open. Now it asks to import the virtual machine. For this example, I'll leave the name to be Nagios XI Test and leave the storage path as default. When done, I'll click Import. After importing, take a look at the virtual machine settings and adjust the parameters such as memory and processors. Another important setting would be the network adapter. We recommend having a bridge connection because it directly connects to your physical network. After you have saved these settings, click the green play button to power on the virtual machine. The OVA uses CentOS as its operating system, and once that's finished booting, Nagios XI will be ready for you to log into and finish setting up. After XI finishes the installation, you can log in with the default username of root and the default password of Nagios XI, listed right above. Right below the Nagio symbol, you'll find the IP address where you can find Nagios XI. You'll enter this into your browser, after you've inputted the IP address and hit enter, you'll be greeted with a welcome page that has links to our documentation or support site. If you click on Access Nagios XI, you are now able to change the time zone, language, and user interface theme. Towards the bottom, you'll see a section that says the license type, where you could select from trial, licensed, or a free license. Then on the bottom, click Next. This last page is where you can find the username of the local Nagios admin account. You could change its password, the full name of the Nagios admin local account, and the email address. Below that, you can find notification settings where you could send notifications to this email account. After that is complete, click Finish Install. After the installation is complete, it'll show you your username and password. You'll use this login on the next page. Click Login to Nagios XI. Enter in the username and password that you have just made. Read and accept the license agreement and click Submit. You should now see the home dashboard of Nagios XI. Now feel free to customize to your environment. And with that, you now have successfully installed Nagios XI on VM Workstation. If you've enjoyed this video, consider looking at our YouTube channel for more helpful content, and I will see you in the next one.